All right, hello everybody and welcome. I just got home from work a few minutes ago. It's now 17.42, 5.42 p.m. in Japan. And uh, we are about to enter into the final three matches of the day in the top division, of course. And we have Sekewake Hoshoru against Midori Fuji, that man on camera at the moment. There he is fighting Aoyama in a previous match. And uh, didn't start off, obviously, with a win yesterday, Midori Fuji. But uh, he's hoping to bounce back. But he's got a tough opponent today, Sekewake Hoshoryu, who did start with a win yesterday, but it was a free win because Takayasu has pulled out of the tournament, and that was Hoshoru's day one opponent. Uh, here is Midori Fuji perhaps not doing well, things he might want to improve upon. Uh, after that, we're going to have Taki Keisho versus Kota Nawaka, the Komosubi, and Abi, the Maigashira One, will face off against the Yokozuna in the final match of the day. Uh, over the course of the next three videos... There is Midori Fuji's numbers, uh, fairly short at 171 cm, light as well at 116 kg, 26 years old. Um, over the course of the next three videos, I'll update you on who won and lost earlier in the day. There is, of course, Hoshoru, 23, 188 centimeters, so quite a bit taller, and 142 kg. Um, so very much a, a good sumo uh, wrestler uh, body. For Hoshoru, and he is, uh, you know, you would say he's got to be a, a wrestler on the rise. Uh, he's had a few false starts, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he's Ozeki within a year. Uh, maybe not this calendar year, but I'd say between now and May of next year, uh, if he if he puts together three good tournaments in a row, he's certainly got the talent to do it and the tenacity. Uh, he's just got to, you know, get those double-digit wins and be consistent. Uh, so I will give you an update on who won and lost. And down there in the commentary box, uh, you should know that face. That is, of course, the former uh, Yokozuna Kakuru. And doing a little uh, commentary work for Abema here today as we watch the current Yokozuna, Terano Fuji, come out. He had a decent day one match, so we'll see how he does here today against Abi. Uh, if you're interested in the contest, the link uh, was in the description box of the Terano Fuji match yesterday on day one, and it will actually close shortly after I post these videos. I'll try to get them up by, say, 8 p.m. tonight, and then the contest closes at 10 p.m. Japan time today. So hopefully you've already entered, made any adjustments if you had Takayatsu on your team, and you're ready to go. So good luck to everyone that entered the contest. I hope your team does well. I have my own team up there. And when I start posting the uh, public stats page, probably on day four or five, and you can see where you're at against everyone else that's competing, uh, you'll see my name on there as well. I put in bit, uh, an MOD next to my name. So in case there's obviously lots of Jasons in the world. So I'm the moderator. I'm the mod. And uh, that way you know it's me. Okay, uh, I'll turn on some Japanese play-by-play. -play. Momonaku coming up soon. This match between Midori Fuji on the left. Maigashira 1 and the Sekewake in the red on your right. Hoshoru taking his own sweet time. <laughs> ようさともに先発は Oh, what a move. Nice maneuver by the Sekewake. Wake. 
やや長めの相撲になりましたが豊昇龍耐えました。胸から当たりました。立ち合いどうでした。ね、ここはやっぱりもう乱れるし、ね、よかった、立ち合いはよかったと思いますけど。はい、まあ、その後は本当に、この、なんだろう、ね。慌てることはなかったですね。これしましたけど。はい、両腕をこう決めるようにして、持ち上げようとしますが、それを耐えているのが緑富士。うんだからこれやっぱり先に動いているのはやっぱり常に豊昇龍なんですよね。豊昇龍ペース。はい。もっとやっぱり、ね、自分からもっと動いていってほしいなと思いますね。なるほど。That is a really good, you know, display of his ring sense. He knew exactly where his feet were on the Tawada, where how much room he had left to go, which was none, and he had to, you know, pivot and move him aside. That's just great work by Hoshodru on the edge. Okay, two more matches to go here on day two. Come on back.